Hey guys, welcome to Camping with Steve. I'm back at home and Crazy Neighbor has done a fantastic job on the treehouse. Uh, it's actually cleared out enough that I can get my car down here. So this is where I'm going to empty out some of the camping gear from the trip because we never did come up with a roof rack situation here. We just crammed it all in there. And I got back, was dealing with the house. So today is the day to empty the camping stuff into the treehouse. And we're just going to camp here, have a good meal. I think everything's going to be all right. Hi, Steve! Hey, crazy neighbor. Welcome home! Thanks! Looks great! Awesome! I'm glad you're happy. Oh, it's a lot of stuff. Oh, no. I've got my friend's life jacket. I didn't return it to him. I'll have to mail that off. These Cabela's cots I got are probably going to find a permanent home in here, at least until I build some cots, because they're really obnoxious to get these pieces in, the last one in particular, so a couple of these up there should be all you really need. For the last five weeks I've been in BC filming, five or six weeks, and it was a blast. And I happened to notice on Crazy Neighbor's channel, while I was gone, something that resembled my treehouse, except way better. Now, this thing when I left uh, had a collapsed roof with a tarp flapping in the wind. And I'm looking at this YouTube video and I'm seeing balconies, uh, overhangs, awnings, uh, windows, a roof. So, <laughs> what exactly did you do here? And where'd you come up with all this material? Well, all the material came out of your house. Really? Yeah, when we were uh, doing the demolition on your house, that all came out of your house. I think there were three pieces of plywood we had, actually had to buy. They were $25 each. That's a good price. But when we, when we first built this place, for maximum accuracy, we eyeballed everything. And these 2 by 12s that were up here, they were that long. So that's how long we made them. And, wow, that's an instant balcony. So... There we go. We got an instant balcony. We had some spare roofing left over. We put a steel roof on it. Built a real set of stairs. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Yeah, it's just, we've been having fun while you're gone, Steve. It looks great. Well, let's let's take a look. We're gonna be camping in here, uh, if you haven't figured that out yet. Yeah. Uh, loading up the cots, gonna have a fire, cook a good meal. And uh, yeah, the, what a thing um, of beauty compared to what it was. It's. Uh, it's, it's amazing what happens with idle minds. <laughs> Tour's going to begin here at the bar. There's this great overhang. What is that? A couple of feet, probably. Yeah. A ledge. Uh, keep everything out of the rain. Uh, right across from the fire pit there. And yeah, what do people normally do in a bar? Step two. Cheers, crazy Cheers, neighbor. Cheers, Steve. Welcome home. Good to see you again, and wow, what a job here. I'm happy, I'm glad you're happy. Uh, I sure am. These stairs are a bit of an improvement. <laughs> <laughs> Just a bit. I broke through a step on the other set. Wow, are these sanded? Yeah, they are, yeah. <laughs> no slivers. No slivers for us? No. Wow. So we'll, uh, the bottom is a bit of a mess, that's where a bunch of stuff is stored, but I'll give you a shot of that. And yeah, we'll just go around the outside and we'll go inside and check this out, get set up. Even trim around the windows. Well, yeah. This is fancy. <laughs> I don't know if I belong in this thing. <laughs> the bottom of the balcony looks sturdy. Hurricane clips. Oh yeah, and you know what? They give a guarantee against hurricanes, but you know what? We don't have hurricanes in our part of the world, but it's guaranteed not to come apart in a hurricane. Huh, that'll work. Okay, now time for the tour. Uh, why don't you show us what's up there? Well, let's go for it. Follow me up here, Steve. 
Hi Steve, welcome to the treehouse. Looks great. Yeah, look we got a, a window, a hunker down banner. Oh, from the birthday. Yeah, yeah from your birthday. Awesome, yeah. man, that looks late. We got a steel roof. That'll sound good in the rain and the hail. Yeah, that won't blow off anytime soon. No, it's not gonna blow off anytime soon. Okay, we got the buddy heater here. We got a little hole cut out there for the hose. And then there's a propane cylinder outside there. The, the back balcony is just big enough to hold the propane cylinder. It's not good enough to sit on or whatever, but uh, yeah, we keep the propane outside and we're all good to go. Nice door to the balcony here. Look at the size of this latch. Nobody's gonna break in at night. And there we go. There's the balcony. Well, that's quaint. Just enough room for two chairs and a couple of beers. All right, I know what to do. This is not too bad at all. No. I hate these things. <laughs> they're they're sturdy, but they are. It's like pinch point city. And there's extra My parts. Job. Exactly. So the table is just too big, it ain't gonna work. Um, yeah, we the got table's too big. Yeah. The cots work, we can open up doors, but the table, um, we'll have to find something else to use as a table. That works, there's enough room. We can open the door, open the balcony. Open the balcony. Yeah, I think this is gonna be all right. Okay, it's gonna be just peachy and neat. Keep bears out. Throw another log on the fire. Crazy neighbors got this uh, little power inverter running off a deep cycle. So that gives us a couple of outlets uh, up to 400 watts, but we're just using that for light right now. And we got the the buddy heater going just to take a little bit of the chill off. The only light in here right now is this little trouble light, but that's pretty much all we need. We'll probably stick an actual one up there with a switch so it can be fancy. And uh, there's gaps in these walls. Now, there's no mosquitoes yet, but they're coming. So we're gonna tar paper on the inside, do some insulation as well, uh, just to turn this into like a luxury treehouse. See, so look at some of these. I can pretty much get my pinky through there. Definitely a mosquito can fly through. I picked up these kind of luxury foamy things. Uh, it's got a foam core and you can also inflate them to power it up a little more. I got a bad hip, so um, definitely for car camping, this is the way to go. Now these things, my American viewers are not gonna be happy because it's from Canadian Tire and it's a Woods brand. And I did the research today, and Woods Brand just seems to be Canadian Tire's brand. And they sadly don't ship at this point to the to the States. So, but this is the Woods Comfort Max. It goes like three or four inches thick. It's actually really, really comfortable, uh, really big. But setting it up here, because this is going to be kind of a semi-permanent place, I can just kind of leave things set up in here. Uh, eventually I'm thinking, yeah, like a fold down bunk or something. So we're gonna try and get this set up really nicely so that we can actually do either like uh, some live streams or vlogs from up here or maybe uh, treehouse talks. Crazy Neighbor wants to do treehouse talks. So we have it all set up nicely. Uh, wood stove in here somewhere. Yeah, I think we're running out of room so it may have to get bigger. But uh, you know, I've wanted a treehouse my whole life and uh, now we finally got one. Um, campfire cooking. When I was out with beautiful wife uh, looking for some camping supplies, she stumbled across this. Uh, the company's coming edition of campfire cooking. Uh, there's a lot of really good ones in here, but the one that really stuck out to me was this. 
Great Outdoors Beef Stroganoff. And I'll show you the picture of what it's supposed to look like. I'm sure it's going to be nothing like that. But, uh, yeah, so it, it should look like that. Um, I'm sure it won't because the recipe doesn't even call for parsley. So I had to make one modification, of course, which I'm not too happy about. Um, it wants stewing beef, and in the grocery store today, it's pretty wiped out, and they just had ground beef. So, that's going to be that. Ugh. Oh, man. Okay. So, uh, got old cast iron pan here um, with uh, a lid that's also a little skillet. And dump the ground beef in there. We'll get it browning. I think the recipe says to brown the beef and then set it aside. So we'll do something similar uh, to get the ball rolling here. Uh, I'm using today a, uh, this came with the wood stove to like scrape the coals back. Uh, but I think it'll be just fine for this because it's got a nice long handle and it'll stop me from getting burned. setting the beef aside and that'll give me some time to go inflate those air mattresses then we'll get back to the rest of the prep here just sitting here these things have inflated pretty good but I'm gonna pump them up a little bit got this DeWalt that's falling apart Gee. okay got this DeWalt tire pumper upper that also does uh, inflatable stuff too so it's got all these attachments and connections and I, I use DeWalt tools so that little battery pack actually powers this as well I love things that are all interchangeable so let's pump this up Ooh, nothing's going right today okay. there you go like so Remember when you first bought the place? What was the first thing we did when you first <laughs> bought this place? Oh. Before we dealt with anything else, I always wanted a tree house. So we built yeah. the tree house. That was, yeah, it was in a video, well, yeah, over a year ago, two years ago. A couple ago years now. ago now. Yeah. Uh, a little more than two years ago when we first built it, and <clears throat> yeah. We started at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I think we're. We finally went to bed at 2 o'clock in the morning and we, we had, for maximum accuracy, we built everything without a level, just eyeballed it. And uh, we had a bunch of tarps up there, a tarp roof and tarp walls, and yeah. why things have changed. Things have changed, it was, yeah, like the things we had to do, like the driveway was going into the neighbor's property and they were very um, persistent that we get that fixed. Uh, there was a gas leak in the house, but what do we do? We run out and we build a tree house and well, that was priorities <laughs> <laughs> I love this little counter. Good job crazy neighbor. Thanks, Steve <laughs> so uh, essentially mm, Chop up an onion chop up some mushrooms and uh, Then Steve yeah, are you doing this by the buck? <laughs> Somewhat. Uh, somewhat. Really? You're doing it by the buck? Uh, I, I'm i going to play it safe on this one. I haven't made this before. Okay. Sounds I know good. There's, there's no wrong way to make this. It's just regular ingredients that all get mixed together. I know. Uh, it's just all the times that I've ever gone camping with you, I've never seen you read a recipe book. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful wife found this, and so i got to use it. It's a beautiful wife. Yes. Chop. My thumb! <laughs> Oh, don't even say that. Okay, uh, <laughs> do you want the whole onion in there or just a little bit? No, I think we should take the whole thing. Consult with the recipe. Well, um, look how much meat's in there, yeah. Yeah, no, it says... Yeah, we need a whole onion. Yeah. It says a large onion slice. This is relatively large. It is, relatively, okay. yeah. All right. We'll uh, ditch the skin here and dice. 
Steve's walking off camera right now doing his slice and dice, but I'm still here. Hi guys. No, I was just ditching the skin on the onion. All right. That is a big onion. I've seen bigger. Size doesn't matter, Steve. You ever had a <laughs> a blooming onion at the carnivals, like the big, big ones? No, but I've seen them. Nothing yeah. better than the sound of an onion being sliced. It brings tears to my eyes. You want a little mushrooms or a lot? A lot. You want that one? No. I'm not offended by large chunks of mushroom, are you? Uh, large chunks of garlic, yes. Mushroom, no. Okay. All of these recipes say the same thing. Cook something, set it aside. Cook another thing, set it aside. Then combine them all at the end and do something different. So, it's supposed to be a campfire cooking thing, so I'm going to leave the beef in here, move it to one side to set it aside, and I'll fry up the rest of this stuff. Then we'll just dump it all in together. It's a loud way to set up a sleeping bag. It works! Just perfect. Now, of course, I didn't come up with this recipe. I'm just uh, taking it from that camping cookbook and really butchering it with uh, deviating from the recipe. Yeah, that's one of my pet peeves is deviating from recipes. But I'm not making any huge changes, just slight procedural uh, switches and uh, using ground beef instead of the uh, stewing beef. So beef broth, and some water because I'm going to be putting in some egg noodles. For some reason the recipe calls for cream of chicken soup. Uh, I thought that probably cream of mushroom would be better, I don't know. A can of condensed... Uh, any crazy name? Hi Steve! Egg noodles. Um, they're fancy ones. What do you mean by fancy noodles, Steve? The packaging looks fancy. If you look at them, they're, geez, they might be imported or something. I don't know, it's imported. A product of Italy. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Italian. No bundles. Well. Did I splash you? I'm getting splashed. <laughs> That's okay. All right. Looking well, good. Got me right Looking in the eye. Good. This is boiled down beautifully. It actually kind of looks like what it's supposed to be. So the final two ingredients are sour cream, some of that unpronounceable steak sauce. You know, get in a bunch of that. Yeah, now we're talking. The easy solution for not having oven mitts is just your sleeves. Alright. The picture versus the reality. Time to serve it up hot. Um, how many shovelfuls would you like? Uh, two scoops. They're small. Okay, three. <laughs> Those are really small scoops. Maybe this is, four. This is good for. Uh, That's good. Yeah. Okay. All right. One little scraggler there. That's, Thank you, Steve. You're going to have to have seconds, I think. Close that up. And yum. Let's, uh, let's go devour this. This is going to sound like an insult to the recipe which I butchered, but I kind of got a feeling of hamburger helper in this thing. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. Probably the hamburger. Look at the length of that noodle. Oh yeah, they're big. Yeah. They're imported. Yeah. Italy. So of course we got to thank the folks that have contributed to the cause. So thank you all very much. Mm.
that unpronounceable steak sauce makes the difference. I think I gotta use that more in a lot of other recipes. For cooking over an open fire with pasta, I think it's just awesome, Steve. Noodles that long? I like that. <laughs> it was <laughs> awesome. Just leftovers for tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, I gotta charge up my laptop, but I've left my charger in British Columbia, and I found out that a cell phone charger will actually charge this up very slowly, like overnight if all goes well. This will be charged up and I can get uh, the video uploaded because that all depends on this uh, DJI drone charger hooked up to a USB-C. This That's is your drone charger? Yeah, it's apparently like uh, 15 watts or, or something like that. So um, it's not quite what the laptop needs, but if it's turned off, it should do the job. And we'll unplug uh, something and get this going. Or I could dangle the laptop up there. Well, we can turn on the dark. No, I'll just dangle the laptop up there and plug it in, right? What could go wrong? Look at that. Built-in laptop holder, Steve. Plug it into the Christmas Doesn't lights. Doesn't get any better than that. We'll see if there's enough uh, propane to get us through the night. I sincerely doubt it, but we'll be cozy enough in here. It's uh, it's just fine. It's only going down to like three or four degrees. I think we'll be fine. I normally do that with just the sleeping bag with no heat. Yeah, we got good sleeping bags. We'll be fine. Yeah, these scoop of mattresses, they're pretty good. <laughs> this is cozy. I could live a happy life in here. Oh yeah. Well, good night, crazy neighbor. Good night, Steve. Good night, world. <laughs> well, that was an awesome sleep. It was like sleeping in a cozy cabin. Uh, it was nice and warm. The wind blew and there'd be creaks in the walls and everything. Um, the only thing that would have made it better is the pitter-patter of rain on that steel roof. Um, speaking of crazy neighbor, he is missing um i'm suspecting he needed to use the restroom and uh made a break for a log somewhere out in the woods so i'm going to um get the day started it's very nice because i don't have to tear anything down uh, i just gotta you know take the uh take a couple empty cans and some uh, uh some leftovers um put them in the car and drive away yeah crazy neighbor is nowhere to be seen uh, looks like he cleaned up a bit, and I think he's gone back to help the crew working on the house because uh, he cannot sit still. And I think he forgot we were filming a video. <laughs> so uh, I'm sure he wishes you all goodbye. And as you see, there's no leaves. Now, the last few videos, for those who are familiar with Canada, my Canadian viewers, um, it's a very great biome on the coast there. So it's it's green before anything else. It's very unusual in Canada. And sadly, where I live, there's no leaves. That means it's tricky to do stealth. So we've got, I don't know, another couple of weeks and the leaves will start to come out. And then I can really get stealth camping. So I'm going to try to do a stealth camp. If I can find a good spot where I can stealth camp in all this, then I'll do that. And otherwise, uh, we're going to get out in the school bus again because it's... Uh, Although there's no leaves, we're going to have some hot days coming up and I really want to tinker with an air conditioning setup in there. Hopefully something that can run off of solar because that would be just slick to be able to park there. And I know I can do it with enough panels and a small enough AC unit. Um, it, that would just be awesome. So those are the goals. Uh, school bus is probably coming out on the next video. And uh, great news, Starlink, that little satellite dish that I got out here, it's now mobile, so I can take that anywhere. Um, and that's huge news because the school bus on a logging road, <clears throat> before there was no cell service or anything like that. Now, the school bus plus a logging road equals a live stream. So uh, I'm very thrilled about this development. It's going to be opening up a few doors here for sure, as far as the outdoors goes and um, getting uh, content up from the road. 
Uh, I, the best spots for me for kind of the bus regular camping, way up in the mountains in the hills somewhere. Uh, but that's always comes hand in hand with no cell service and usually crawling with grizzlies. So that's what to expect over the next uh, short term. And uh, got to get back to see beautiful wife. Unfortunately, she suffered a migraine headache yesterday, and she's still she's much better today. But uh, I got to go bring her some stuff, some ginger ale, some Gatorade. Uh, to make sure she's doing okay and um until next thursday uh we'll see you all thanks for stopping in this one's just a regular old uh chatting around a fire and cooking a meal with crazy neighbor but uh uh thanks all for watching please subscribe if you got this far right till the very end of my nonsensical rambling um and we'll see you later